Welcome to my channel, Pinkat Patnavik. So, in this, in this today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to track with PF Track. So, without wasting your time, let's get into it. So, I'm just opening my PF Track. Continue. I already have it for this and just I'm just deleting everything. So I'm just creating a new one. I'm just opening my folder to desk. I just see we need to track in PF track. We have to change you, you have to render the footage in the pack, pack sequence and just drag and drop your first frame into the tab right here. So it will load up your video. Just let me cache it the video for fast track. So it's caching the video. You can see right here. So let me pass. Now to track this footage, you need to right click on this video right here and click on this auto track now what you want to do is to go and click auto track we have to wait mm, it takes some time i will pause the video right here and will continue when it's time uh, when it's i just track my footage guys so let me play this you can see our track points was created so what to do next click on this right click on this auto track node and select camera solver and then click solve all it doesn't take much time okay we're done so you can see it created a plane for us and the plane was perfectly aligned with our camera and i need to in this plane mm, now right click on this camera solver and select this orient scene with the camera solver camera solver node and i need to mm, make this plane on the ground perfectly so i'm selecting a tracker and set origin so you can see our plane is perfectly aligned with the flow i have right now i'm just going to my orient scene double click on this orient scene and in the edit mode select rotate <coughs> and rotate rotate it and also control z Mm -hmm. I'm just orienting the scene. We need to. Um, I'm pausing this. I just oriented my scene, guys. So you can see my plane is perfectly and with my flow. So you can see. So the last thing we need to do is to export this data to a 3D software. Mm, to do that, right click on this Orient scene and select export. And first thing we need to select the format um, on which 3D software we need to export our tracking data. And I'm selecting Maya. Or this my 2011 as key, and I want to save this file on um, desktop 
I need to change I want to change the name, change the name of the video or something like that. Save and and click export. Message will pop up. It says export succeeded. And click OK. And so now we are in Maya, guys. So now I want to show you how to import those tracking data. Mm, simply click on File. Mm, import or you can mm, click import it's better it's easier desktop i save it gtg gtg and click import mm, that's it out our now we need to change the frames mm, which frames is starting frame for that go back to the video folder my frame end with 279 frames and start with the 0 frame 0 to 279 you can change it 0 0 279 that's it now go to panel prospect to you to GTG camera so you can see Mm. Now put a polygon here. It will place on three. You can see we need to change some tweaks and to do more realistic. That's it. That's it all for today. This tutorial, guys. I will be back with another tutorial. Please subscribe, share, comment if you want any tutorials on this channel. Please comment. I will do those tutorials. Mm, see you guys later.